The B-1B Lancer Bomber Bomber became one of the frightening weapons of war for the United States, U.S., when it was involved in the Cold War with the Soviet Union. It was built to bomb the nuclear country that is now called Russia. The B-1B Lancer was designed to be the primary delivery mechanism for the U.S. nuclear triad in the 1980s should war with Russia break out. In fact, the conflict that was imagined didn't happen and only became what is known as the Cold War. After the end of the Cold War with the collapse of the Soviet Union, the B-1B switched from nuclear bombing missions to conventional bombers. The aircraft remained in combat use after the September 11, 2001 attacks. The B-1B Lancer remained the bomber of choice during what the Washington government called the War on Terror. The countries that were destroyed by the bombing of these planes were Iraq and Afghanistan. According to a report by Defense Publication 1945, the B-1B carried a high percentage of total munitions dropped after 2001, an era when it punished many targets in Iraq and Afghanistan. But some B-1Bs are showing their age with extensive wear and tear. As of 2019, only a handful are airworthy due to their heavy use in the conflict. The B-1B can drop and launch a variety of guided and unguided weapons. The aircraft is versatile and largely thrives in high operational tempo environments. It still has the speed and maneuverability to be included as a mainstay in a major joint war plan. Known as the Bone, the B-1B will eventually be replaced by the B-21 Raider that transition is unlikely to fully occur over the next five years. There are estimates that several B-1B bombers will be in the fleet for many years thereafter. The U.S. Air Force is reducing the number of B-1Bs. With an arsenal of 100 jets at one point, the Air Force is sending 17 B-1Bs into retirement by 2021. Three dozen filled the blockade in the early 2000s. There are now 45 aircraft flying out of Ellsworth AFB, South Dakota, and Dias AFB, Texas. The trimmed fleet will allow for better maintenance and an increased supply of spare parts. There was structural wear and tear, fuel tank issues and issues, with the ejection seat having crimp readiness. The U.S. Air Force hopes to save and reprogram the USD-10 to USD-30 million that will be spent on keeping the 17 retired bombers flying. The B-1B has a long life. Originally flown as the B-1BA in 1974, it was scrapped that decade after four were built. The Reagan administration revived the program in response to the Soviet threat. The B-1B started in 1984 showed its worth. It can fly 900 miles per hour at 60,000 feet with a range of 7,000 miles. The Air Force ordered 100 bombers to be built and Boeing set to work. The original idea for the B-1B was to fly at low altitude under cover of Soviet air defenses and deliver nuclear weapons. The end of the Cold War changed that mission. President George H. L. Bush ordered $3 billion worth of reparations, which called for the elimination of nuclear weapons systems.